I've come to Hungerford today, uh, which is on the borders of Berkshire and Hampshire, to find a piece of history in the Glorious Revolution, uh, which is another civil war in England's history, uh, very bloodless, uh, which is why it was known as Glorious, because so few people died. In 1685, James II was uh, ascended to the rank of King of England. Bit of a problem, he was Catholic, and all of England at the time was Protestant. There was a long 200-year history of one side slaughtering the other, and uh, while James II promised to protect the sanctity of the Church of England and the Protestant Church, he was very unpopular to begin with anyway, not least of which he had a very affectionate relationship with his wife, even in public, going so far as to hold her hand and kiss her, which was a sign of lacking moral fibre in those days. Anyway, his reign only lasted three years. Uh, in 1688, William of Orange, who you may have heard of, uh, had married James II's own daughter and decided to land at Devon to raise support for himself becoming King of England through his wife's arrangements. There's an ambulance coming. And an ambulance is gone. So William III landed at Devon uh, and was saying that he would protect the sanctity of the Church of England because he was himself a Protestant. He marched all the way up from Devon through Salisbury and eventually came here to Hungerford from which he launched a few probing campaigns at London. There was a Battle of Reading. Reading is about uh, 20 miles up the Kennet from here. And um, it seemed to be that uh, William was in a good position. James II uh, appointed some commissioners to come to treat with William, and they met here at Hungerford, which is where the Bath Road and the Salisbury Road meet, and is a real crossroads of England. If you're south of the Thames, this is one of the places that you have to go in those days, uh, just to travel around. And uh, so I've come to see the place where the King's Commission has met with William of Orange and arranged with him, or tried to arrange with him, a peace while Parliament could debate who should be King. Uh, unfortunately, the peace didn't last. Uh, it was refused by William and he sent back terms of his own. Um, and he eventually heard that James II had fled London out of fear and so William marched on London, going through Wallingford, which we've already been to, if you remember, uh, and crossed at Wallingford, heading into London. And he was here in Hungerford on the 5th and 6th of December in 1688, and he was crowned in London in February 1689. So it was a very short campaign, very few died, and that's why it's known as the Glorious Revolution. And we're going to go now and try and find the location where he met with the commissioners. It's a place called the Bear Inn. You can still go to it. It's still an active pub. And uh, we're going to go inside, I hope, and have a little look around. And it is right on the con it's right on the confluence between the A4 and the A338, the Bath Road and the Salisbury Road, uh, which is why I'm talking all about this out here in the where there's a war memorial, because even though there's background road noise, it is nothing compared to what's at the Bear Inn. Can we see any fish in here? No, that's a shame. There are fish, I have seen them. They're just not there at the moment. Hungerford has an interesting mix of old and new. Here we can see thatched roofs from, you know, medieval period probably. <coughs> and over here, massive modern BMW dealership. This road here, going down there, that is the A4. That goes from London to Bath and Bristol. The road down there, where that lorry's just coming, that road goes down to Salisbury, which is why the Bear Inn is here. We're going to go look at that now.
Mm. This is Lion, the most local beer I could buy here at the Bear. Unfortunately, it's a uh, now a chain Green King pub, so Hook Norton Brewery in uh, the Cotswolds was the closest to here. <laughs> but there we go. So much of the decor will have changed since William's time, uh, not least of which there are no stables anymore. Uh, but there are some touches that make it seem a little bit older. For example, this vinegar pot is a um, it's a ceramic vinegar pot, and the vinegar goes in the top and comes out here, which is a nice little thing. And uh, the local brewery is gone, so Hook Norton is now the most local, unless you want to get the Green King stuff, which comes from Berry St Edmunds. But uh, yeah, it's still very nice, still hotel. Uh, you can uh, stay in the same place as a king. I found the fish. Can you see the fish? I can see the fish. They're the fish. Fishy, fishy. I get excited about silly things like fish. <laughs> there are quite a lot of them. I can see why they need to put up a, uh, a no fishing sign, because uh, otherwise they'd be fished out, I'm sure. <laughs> 